So let's take a look at the third activity. I believe this is the third one. Yeah, that's the third one where we just put our work that we have done so far into containers or what's called divs or divisions. I hope that you watched the video on illustrating what is a div. You can find this on Moodle. This is the illustration for divs. If you watch this, I think you need you have all what you need to know about the, the divs. So let's see what we have done in the previous activity. In the previous activity, we have managed to do the following. So that's the the HTML file. I'm just going to run my light server. And it should be here. Activity 3. Alright, I should just name this as activity 2. So I'm just going to have this as activity 3. And let me just rename this into activity 3. That's the file that we've done in the previous activity. So you're just adding on in this file. Okay, so let me just um, include this. And let's go and run this one more time. Okay, so this is what we have done. I've just included this click me buttons. It's not really not that necessary, but I just wanted to show you how can you style buttons. I'm going to include a link specifically on how can you uh, style buttons, right? So don't worry about that. If you want to, if you watched this in the previous video, then this is good. If you didn't, then there is a specific video on how can you put icons into buttons and stuff. So let's just put things into divisions. So I'm just going to pick this first um, sections. So you can see that so far we have like one, two, three, four, five, six sections or divisions. So I'm just going to grab the first one, which is go to HTML, which is this anchor tag, right? So before this HR, right, which is the horizontal line, we can just say, um, I just want to, all right, so that is kind of annoying. Let me pause this for a minute. Okay, so let's put this part inside a its own div. So I'm just going to wrap this up in a div like that. 